Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, Fani Nodia here and welcome to another one of my Monday videos. So today we are talking about how to calculate the value that you're offering to your clients. So first of all, I'm Fani Nodia, I'm the Managing Director for Parsnet Direct, where we help overworked accountants that are struggling with marketing and sales to get more of a constant stream of their ideal clients. So let us jump right into today's video on how to calculate the value that you're offering to your clients. So the, the main thing here is there's so few accountants that really know how to calculate the value in the first place. And then there's even less of them knowing how to show that value to the client. See, the whole thing here is that you're thinking about yourself and you're thinking, oh, well, I just give accounting services. Well, at the end of the day, if you don't see the value in your own services, then the prospects aren't either. Like if you don't think there's an ROI of working with you, of the money that you're saving to them, the money that you're making for them and all of that, they won't see it either. So there's a lot of accounts that jump into that first meeting and saying, okay, um, asking all the questions about the guy's business. And he says, okay, great. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and I'm going to draft a proposal for you. Now, this is the normal process. It's like I'm going to draft a proposal. A few days later, you send through that proposal and the person already forgot about what you talked about. And he sees this proposal and he looks at it. Um, he looks at that amount. He's like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to pay that just for accounting services. Like, how do you calculate that value? If you're asking someone to pay you 10,000 a month for, for your retainer, you should be able to back that up with some evidence of, you know, what value are you offering to them? Otherwise, they're not going to want to pay to that. Because at the moment, there's this misconception in the accounting industry, everybody that's getting accountants, it's that it's a grudge purchase, meaning they don't want to buy your services. They don't want an accountant. And if you, on top of that, don't know how to show your value as an accountant, they're going to be so miserable working with you because they're going to think like, I need this bloody accountant because Sarge contacted me, but he's pay I'm paying so much money and I don't see any returns. Why on earth should I be you know, giving all of this money to this person? Why? And that is the question that you should be <laughs> answering. And it's a, it's a combination of two things, right? It's a combination between monetary value and emotional value because there's a lot of emotional value that you can show to them, but you cannot calculate. It's very difficult to you know, calculate peace of mind or calculate all the stress that you're going to relieve for that person. You know? And even if you just give them clarity about their business, you give them that weekly reporting or live reporting to show them where to make the decisions in the business, where to focus on, where they should be cutting and all of those extra things about just running the business. It's very difficult to calculate that, but it's a good thing to get that into your prospect's mind because if they're going to think about that, they're going to attach a value to being stress-free and having a peace of mind that SARS is not going to bother them or having that knowledge of, okay, this is how my business is looking at the moment. I should be focusing on these parts. These parts I should be cutting, they're worthless, not doing anything. I should be scaling that down and scaling up somewhere else. That's very difficult to calculate. But the things that you really can calculate is the things where they are losing money at the moment in the places where you can make them more money. Now, it's very difficult to calculate the more money, but you do that with... Um, Let's say, for example, with everything that they're losing, let's say, for example, they're having cash flow problems or something along those lines. How much money are they losing because they need to take out short term loans just to cover that expenses? How much money are they losing because of stock theft that you can put in some stock controls for them? How much money are they losing because of extra penalties by SARS? Or, you know, how much money are they losing because they don't know the increases? Inc sorry, I'm just not getting that word right but the details about taxes what can they deduct from the taxes where can they save extra on taxes if they have just a normal account and it doesn't specialize or do some tax planning for them they could be paying a lot of money extra on taxes where they should not be doing that and you're saying well you've been paying 30,000 rand extra on taxes every year for the last 20 years and then the person's eyes go up like what I have an accountant. Why doesn't he tell me these things? Well, 
I just do tax planning. I specialize in those sort of things. Here's are the places that you're not deducting and you're not um, adding that to your costs. You're just paying too much. It's all of these different things that you need to keep in mind because at the end of the day, you should be calculating a value between where they are now, meaning all the problems they have, all the money that they're losing at the moment, everything that they're not saving and all of that to where you can take them. Now, where you can take them is not just solving these problems, but giving them the opportunity to grow faster or you know, be more stable. Or let's say, for example, you're putting in some management systems and everything is just running more smoothly, more effective, more efficient. All of those sort of things you should be thinking about when talking to your prospect on how to calculate that in the first meeting. Because if you have that first meeting, you get all of that information, everything is going smoothly and that per you take that person through that process of everything that's going wrong and everything that you can give to them, they want to buy at that stage. They're thinking about, oh man, this is sounding so great. And when you're laying out to them, well, these are the problems that you're having. These are amounts that you're going to save on this. This is going to be your, um, your business model from now on because this is how you're going to get extra money. This is all the extra opportunities. You lay everything down and you show that value to them. They're thinking about, yes, I want to work with you right now. If you're going after that meeting where they really wanted to work with you and you tell them, well, I can send you a proposal in a few days and then we can discuss that. And after that, I can send you an invoice and after that we can work together. Well, if I'm seeing the value in what you offer, I do not want to wait those two weeks or that week. I want to know where can I sign now? I want this right now. And if I'm going to, if you're going to wait two days or three days to send that proposal through, and I'm going to go through that, I already forgot that great conversation that we had, you showing all of your value, because now I'm just reading a proposal and it's not the same effect. I'm going to think like, oh, is it really worth it? Is, you, is this calculation correct? Oh, 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 isn't this account that taking me for a fool? And it's all of those doubts just keep on coming and coming and coming because you don't have that person face to face or over the phone explaining to them exactly what's going on through everything. And that's very, very important for you accountants out there that's not knowing how to price your services, not knowing how to show your value and get those clients on board on the first meeting. It's so important because it just makes everything in your life so much easier if you don't need to go through a two week or one month or two month sales process to sign up that new client. Yes, bigger clients are usually going to take longer because they have more hoops to, to jump through. But if you're working with smaller businesses and SMEs, it should be the same day sale. They should not be thinking about it for two weeks long. You need to offer the value now. I want to work with you right now. That's the response that you want to be getting from your prospects is that immediacy. You know, that, that really that urgency of working with you because they, they want to. Not because it's a grudge person, it's because they want to. So I really hope I gave you some, some sort of things that um, made you think a little bit more about this. I'm, at this moment, we are considering about maybe creating some sort of pitch deck for you guys to show you exactly what the steps is to go through everything and how to show that value in the first meeting that you don't lose those prospects down the line because of your long drawn out sales process. Just a quick update on our long form video for this week. We're going to postpone that for another week. There's a few extra things that we still want to bring in and really talk about. And we decided, well, if you want to give some value on the specific topic of crafting your message and how to deliver that message to your prospects, we really want to do some extra research and see if we can't make it a little bit easier for you guys just to easier understand it and everything like that because we are in the marketing industry and it comes as second nature to us but we really want to break it down to you know its constituent parts about exactly how to do everything in a step-by-step -step basis so that's going to be postponed to the following week on Wednesday and hopefully we get it done by then so thank you everybody for watching our Monday video we do a video like this every single Monday at 12 and I hope this created some value enjoy the rest of your week